Hello everyone, this is David. Uh, haven't been around for a while. Haven't been buying a lot of stuff. Um, but recently I did make some purchases. Uh, Voivod was one of those. And so I decided why not do a discography of Voivod. So let's start out with War and Pain. So War and Pain is the only one that they, a studio album that they've done on Metal Blade, um, that I remember, uh, they did a live album on Metal Blade in like 2000 and, what year is this? 2000, the year 2000. Um, but this was the only one that they did with Metal Blade, studio-wise, uh, if you're not familiar with this album, uh, it has the songs Warriors of Ice and the Iron Gang and Blower and uh, the title track, or uh, not the title track, the band's kind of theme song, Voivod. This version comes with two discs. Uh, the second disc right here uh, has an enhanced, uh, part. It has the biography from 85, comments in 2003, lyrics, sounds, video clips, pics, art, wallpapers, and screensavers. So that's what that looked like. I have seen some people selling this just alone. Um, this one is disc one, which also has disc two. So this is technically disc three. Um, this has the full album and then their first show from 85 and then the To Death Metal Massacre five sessions, which is like three songs for both of those things. And then a live demo from December 84 called Morgoth Invasion. Uh, this This is a point where the band was fairly raw um pretty darn fast uh they actually look kind of how they sound you know it's it's pretty cool and so we have in the band you have uh snake blackie piggy and away and that was their lineup for quite a long time this is an album that I don't listen to all that much. I got really into Voivod during their Angel Rat stuff. Um, so the earlier stuff is a little harder for me to get into. Um, their second album is called Roar. Uh, this version that I have here comes with all the lyrics. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that I want lyrics in my CDs. So I cannot get rid of this version, even though I have this uh, three-disc version. Because this has a great booklet, but it doesn't have the lyrics. So, uh, and, and one of the other things, um, each of these books has extensive liner notes and lots of photos. I'll let you see that. I like to show people what they're getting when they are buying these like bigger editions because a lot of people don't know what you're getting really until you're opening it up. You can kind of see some things on Discogs. Some people will put multiple photos of each page and stuff. This is all the stuff that's listed. So I'll go over. Um, oh, and, and probably my favorite song on the first album, War and Pain, is this, the Voivod song. Uh, for this version, you get the full original album. And I would have to say, oh gosh, probably Ripping Headaches is my favorite song on here. Um... And then you have Live at the Spectrum, 86, No Speed Limit Weekend. I don't know if you guys can hear me. 
uh, live in the Montreal October 86. Uh, disc 3 is a DVD, and it has the Roar Rough Mix demos. I don't know why they didn't put um, the demos on uh, the CD, the, the second disc, because I'm sh pretty sure they probably don't fill that up. Maybe they do. Uh, there's Anachronism Live, which is their first show from 83. Early rehearsals, 83 to 84. Piggy Sound Collage in 80. And then there's a video. They have a lot of live video, but the, the sound quality is somewhat sketchy at best on most of the, the live DVD stuff. It does get better as the albums progress. Uh, so this is a great easy way to get roar these days because i think this version is a little bit harder to find or it was at one point uh killing technology their second no third album and um this is kind of where you start really hearing the um the what do you call it the path they're going to go in because on this there is a song called Forgotten in Space that is so awesome. My favorite song on here, Forgotten in Space. Um, this has lyrics. This does not, but this one has, as like the other one, um, three discs and a book of, well, let's do this book of liner notes it's kind of hard with all this stuff in my way but you get uh liner notes and photos again um and these are all pretty interesting it's um just a story of what was going on how they were recording where they were recording stuff like that it's really cool so the only failure was that they didn't put the lyrics in there although i wouldn't have sold this version when i got this version anyway i like to keep the old version a i don't get much for cds these days and b i really don't know anybody who would need voivod um because when i was getting the king crimson stuff i would get the new stuff and then just sell the old stuff or give them to my friend but uh yeah i'm keeping everything these days so this also has live at the spectrum in 87 on disc two and then the dvd has a bunch of um let's see a bunch of live shows uh this one actually doesn't have demos Unlike the other ones, um, which is kind of a disappointment. Let me check. This portion of the booklet really tells you everything that is on there. But, yeah, this one doesn't have demos. A live show on second disc and a bunch of live shows on the DVD. Uh, I haven't watched the DVD for this one yet. So Forgotten in Space, if you want to see what the best song on here or my favorite song is. Uh, Killing Technology is also a great song. Um, a lot of people like Tornado. Um... I'm not quite as familiar with that song. Because um, sometimes I'll just jump ahead. Uh, this is where they really, really uh, turn into uh, kind of like the, the best part of Voivod. Um, this is like the beginning of what most people recognize as like the classic period of Voivod. Uh, this is Dimension Hatros. And of course, again, this one, this version, the disc has, and this is on noise. I don't know if I showed that. 
Um, so this is actually a like almost original CD pressing. These ones are redone versions on Sanctuary. Same thing with the um, the Roar. So this is. I mean, this is a great album, but this steps it up a notch really well. Um, of course, I have this version. I actually bought this version, and then Killing Technology and Roar, I waited about a year. And about a week ago, I decided, you know what? I really need all of these because I hope one day they will do the next three albums. So this comes with the main album and then uh, a CD of them live at the Spectrum. And I haven't listened to that yet, but um, a lot of people said how the sound quality is pretty darn good. Uh, this has the Dimension Hatros demos from 87 on the DVD. And then a bunch of live stuff, which the live stuff, the 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 video and the sound quality isn't that great but it's cool to have you get slideshow of artwork and live and studio photos with that too and then you come to nothing face this album is so awesome there's i mean not only oh sorry I forgot to tell you, Experiment is my favorite song on here. I know a lot of people love Tribal Convictions on Dimension Hatros, but Experiment is so awesome, especially the part where uh, Piggy starts playing a different guitar part and Blackie is still playing the da do 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 dun da do 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 dun dun da do 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 dun da do 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 dun dun uh, it's so good, so good. Um, but this album, this was the album where the snare drum and the like accents on the guitar just were just super tight. They are just all together, you know. Um, you just have like the snare drum hitting on the dun 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 da 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 dun dun dun. Da, 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 da. And it was so awesome. I was in a band called Channels, and we kind of copied that idea and were super influenced by Voivod in like 92 or 93. Um, they ended up, after I left, they ended up um, opening up for Voivod on the Negatron tour. And. Um, Rich, the guitarist, ended up hanging out with Piggy and going sh record shopping with him. I uh, ended up giving him a guitar that Piggy really liked. Uh, it was a green guitar. Um, and I have recently gotten in touch with Rich, and we are planning on starting to do a new project that is, again, very influenced by Voivod. Um, so Nothing Face... Uh, most people will remember the Astronomy Domini Pink Floyd cover, um, which is a great cover. Uh, that actually kind of got me into Pink Floyd. Um, but the title track is amazing. Um, God, Inner Combustion and Pre-Ignition, uh, The Unknown Knows. This album is... Literally, it's a 100% album. There is no bad track on here. And I am i don't even really like covers that well. But even this cover is awesome. And it fits so well. Um, this is an album that should still be in print. It is sad that it is not. Uh, I hope they eventually can come to some kind of agreement and do the three disc version stuff like these are and i'll still hold on to this one because it will have lyrics and the other one won't and this one god damn this is just cool so look at that disc not only 
Did it look like that? Oh, by the way, in the 90s, I used to write my initials on things because uh, I worked at a few record stores that uh, people would come in and say how they had all their CDs stolen, and that was a good way to be able to track your CDs if they got stolen. But this, oh man, they do not make artwork like this anymore. They do not. And on the back side, a poster of the band. Each of these pictures is for one of the songs. They also did that on um, on Outer Limits, which I will show you soon. And Away, who was the drummer, also did all the artwork on, I believe, on every one of their albums. This is the album that really got me into Voivod. Wow, that lighting sucks, or that CD case just sucks, really, is what I should say. So, Angel Rat. This was the album that... Um, kind of divided Voivod fans because a lot of people just didn't get it. Um, it was totally different. They even said themselves that they didn't want to repeat Nothing Face. This was the album that Blackie left during, uh, I believe he was still in the band when they started and he decided to leave the band mid uh, recording, and uh, this was actually produced by Terry Brown, and if I remember correctly, I think Terry Brown is a Rush producer. Let me check that. I think he had produced a lot of Rush in the 70s, and um, I think it's kind of cool that they worked with somebody who is that well known and um let me just check there's a good video right here let's see caress a steel i believe terry brown is the producer that i'm thinking of yes awesome so I'm not losing my mind. Um, this had a song called Clouds in, Clouds in My House that was released as a video. I think that was the single on here. Honestly, if they would have left, uh, done a video for Panorama or Best Regards um, or even Freedom or None of the Above, I think people would have liked this uh, a little better. Um, well, who knows? I don't know how videos and, and the general public worked back then. This came out in 91, the same year as Last Crack, Burning Time, and Death Human. So what an amazing year. Um, my favorite song on this is Best Regards Right Now. It constantly changes. At one point, the title track, Angel Rat, was my favorite song. <clears throat> but best regards is is awesome and i love the lyrics and i'm pretty sure i know what it's talking about but you never know with voivod lyrics uh let's see outer limits this is such a great album so underrated so at this point they did not have a bass player and uh, a guy named um, Pierre St. Jean played bass. The production is really, really tight, really clean. Uh, the bass ends up being a lot less distorted on this. Uh, you could kind of see they were doing a little less distortion on the bass on Angel Rat. But on this one, there's a lot less distortion and it sounds cleaner bass wise and i really really like the bass on this album he did a great job um this album also has 
a uh, artwork for each song. It has the lyrics in the middle. And then each song gets its own picture. Jack Luminous, my favorite song on here. 17 minutes long. 17 minutes long. They said they didn't play it in the 90s because nobody wanted to sit through a 17-minute song. Well, guess what? They have been playing it recently. So as early as 2016, I think. So other ones on here... Um, Lost Machine is awesome. I think that's the song that starts out in measures of seven. It's kind of weird to count, too. Um, but it's so awesome. But uh, We Are Not Alone is another great song. The, the very last track makes me want to go back to this album again. Uh, so after that one, uh, Snake, this guy right here, he decides he doesn't want to be a singer anymore. I believe he opened a restaurant or something like that. Uh, so they get a guy named Eric Forrest and Eric Forrest, uh, did bass and drum or bass and drums. He did bass and vocals, uh, when he was in Voivod, they got a little heavier. They had, I guess, started already writing more heavy stuff. Cause this is pretty light metal. I mean, it's still awesome, but it's nowhere near as heavy as this album. So, Negatron comes out in, what year was this, 94? No, 95. And I didn't know that Snake had left the band, so I was really surprised. Um, his vocals are more uh, harsh than Snake really was, even in the early years. Um, he's got more, like, grit to his vocals. But then he'll do the kind of more clean stuff that Snake used to do. So he has a good, um, good, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, uh, example of old Voivod vocals and mid-period Voivod vocals. So um, I thought he did a great job filling both bass and vocal duties. And he kept the band going because um, it was just down to Piggy, the guitarist, and Away, the drummer. Um, my favorite song on this, even though... They talk about Nano Man a lot of times. My favorite song on here is Insect, the first track. Um, just especially this section right after the first, second chorus. That's awesome. And it it sounds like, you know, like Dimension hatros kind of vocals and uh, kind of a weirder part and stuff. So definitely worth getting the Eric Forrest years. Um, this album is kind of a continuation. Uh, I haven't talked about that. So a few of their albums are concept albums, um, especially like Roar and then Killing Technology, Dimension Hatros. Um, I believe Nothing Face also. But this picks up where the Voivod story goes. Sorry, my stupid uh, furnace just kicked in. Um, but the song Rise on here is awesome. And he starts out the songs like yelling Anarch. And this is, I believe... Um, a story between two characters. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Um, 
but again, really heavy and very sci-fi. And you hear the word Anarch a bunch of times on this album. So if you want to check out what this album's like, listen to Rise. They also did a uh, live album. This was the first live album that they did. A lot of my CD cases have cracks in them. I, I should fix that. Um, this one is good, um, but it has different quality between every, you know, like it's all recorded in different places. The first three songs are fantastic, which is good because Insect is one of the first three songs. Um, they do Insect, Tribal Convictions, Nanoman from one place, and the sound quality is really good on those. Um, I wish they would have just recorded a whole show, but I don't know what their tour schedule at that point was and if they were playing opening up for bands. Um, I want to say they were playing on Ozfest or or one of those big festivals at that time. The toy, um, because this came out in two thousand and three. No, two thousand. Um, and this is still with Eric, and so this is the first live release that they did, and this is their first one on Metal Blade since their first album. So uh, there was an accident, I guess, uh, where I don't remember what happened to Eric, but I know he ended up having to use a cane for a long time. I'm not sure if he still uses it. And he went off to um, start a band called E-Force, which are a lot heavier, but they're very much in this, uh, this era of Voivod kind of sounding stuff. Um, his voice got a little uh, raw or more on the death metal-y kind of sound. Um, I've yet to check his stuff out other than just samples on YouTube. I never see any of it, but if it, I found it, I would definitely give it a shot. At that point, um, let's see, this came out after um, Eric left, I believe. Because this tape came out in 2004. I got it because, well, I'm kind of a completist, but it has remixes of stuff. And it had uh, some live recordings of those do of them doing some pretty cool songs so i got it i can't really talk much about that one though <laughs> I don't, i've hardly listened to it um <clears throat> this album was a big surprise and really awesome um because i didn't think snake would ever come back really and at this point, they get Snake back on vocals and Jason Newstead on bass, which they had written one song with him for the Negatron um, album called M Body, I believe. And uh, I've always thought Jason Newstead was a good bass player. Uh, I thought he was kind of wasted in Metallica because he's so good on the Flotsam and Jetsam uh, debut album. And then he's just kind of, well, everybody has heard there's no bass on And Justice For All. Um, and I thought the Black album was pretty decent. Um, I just felt that he was a metal guy who needed to be in a metal band and Voivod is a perfect fit for him during this period. Uh, Gas Mask Revival is my favorite song on this one. Um, it's a little more straightforward, but um, 
I kind of like that. I, cause I really like outer limits and angel rat. And so them being more straightforward didn't bug me that much. Uh, because it's still got snakes singing on it. It's still got piggy doing his, uh, wacky chords and, and guitar stuff. Um, not maybe as crazy as in the past, but it's still, it's still good. Um, what was the other song? I'm really bad with song titles because I listen to a lot of stuff either in the car or at work and things will like kind of prick up my ears as it were, but, um, I know the very first song on there is awesome. Uh, then they did an album called Kators. Kators? K A T. Uh, here, I'll let you see it. Yeah. Uh, this was after Piggy had died of colon cancer. And, you know. He had had a tumor in, like, the 80s, like, around 88, when they had finished Dimension Hatros, I believe, and they had to cancel a tour, and I don't know when he was diagnosed with the colon cancer, but uh, he had been recording tons of guitar parts, and when he knew he was, didn't, didn't have he knew when he knew he didn't have much time he called away to the hospital and um gave him the password for all the the computers that he had and told him where to find the guitar parts um and this one i haven't listened to a ton i can't tell you which is my favorite song on here um, but when I have listened to this, it's, this is more, less of the, uh, straightforward stuff. This is more kind of experimental. Um, but nowhere near like early Voivod. Um, the last album they did with Piggy's, uh, music with his um, guitar parts was Infini. And my favorite song on here is Destroy After Reading. There is a super awesome bass part that Jason is doing under kind of like really easy or basic guitar parts um, that livens that song up. Um, some people thought again this was more straightforward i think it's pretty good uh these albums with jason newstead i haven't listened to as much as all the rest but destroy after reading is fantastic uh after jason i don't know if jason left or it was just like a matter of Hey, you, we're in Canada and you're in, I think he's in California or someplace. Um, they got back P uh, Blackie uh, for this Target Earth. Uh, so they get a new guy named Daniel Mongrain and he was in a band called Martyr. Um, for me, the key is he was in Gorguts for the From Wisdom to Hate album. Um, apparently he does tablature books for a bunch of the Voivod albums. He's done Killing Technology, Dimension Hatros, and Nothing Face so far. Uh, this was kind of a return to form, kind of in that Dimension Hatros vein a little bit. I listened to it recently, and uh, it's one of those albums where I need to listen to again. It doesn't have an immediate grab. 
Um, there was one song on here that I can't remember the name of it, um, where I thought, oh, there, there's the Voivod of old. And I thought it was cool that they had Blackie back in, but apparently that didn't last very long. They did this album, and then they did a second live album called Warriors of Ice. And if you remember, the Warriors of Ice is the second song on their first album. Uh, this is a good selection of stuff from mainly um, the early stuff up through uh, Angel Rat. Uh, there might be, I've listened to it a couple times. As I said, I'm not good with song titles. There might be one song from Target Earth on here, but otherwise it's all just old stuff up through, uh, Angel Rat. Or at least they do, what do they do? The Prow from Angel Rat it would have, and Panorama. So that's kind of cool. Um, the sound quality is really good. It's all the same show and, uh, I highly recommend this if you're going to get one of the, the live albums. Um, Blackie doesn't stick around. Uh, they do an EP called Post Society. Uh, this is again, kind of going back to, you know, that middle period Dimension Hatros kind of feel. Um, but still keeping it, you know, current and stuff. Uh, not quite as much crazy sci-fi lyrics and stuff like that. Um, I've only listened to this like three, four times. So I'm not really good with faking stuff uh silver machine is a cover song i know that um but if you don't already have this you can also get it on this this is a two disc version of their new album uh the wake and this album is oh my god it's so good it 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 sounds like the album that could have been right after Nothing Face. Uh, Obsolete Beginnings is the first track on here. It is so awesome, but Event Horizon is, oh my God, that song starts out with some really awesome guitar and bass stuff that just from the get-go it just grabs you and then sonic mycelium mycelium has lyrics f that were pulled out of my favorite song jack luminous from the outer limits album that was super awesome uh there are longer songs on here more sci-fi kind of feel and I'm hoping that they tour the U.S. and I'm able to see them. I just remembered that I forgot to grab two things. Before I show you, well, first I'll show you one last CD. This is Cosmos. So... Uh, this is the drummer from Voivod, and it's mainly instrumental, and it has kind of a, a zombie or goblin kind of feel to it, and uh, if you like instrumental stuff, there is some vocals on it, but not a lot. Now I've got the hiccup, sorry. Um, I listened to this a couple times way back when I got it in... Uh, when, when was that? 2007. But I kind of got it more out of, oh, Away is on here, and then listened to it a few times, and then kind of put it away and never listened to it again. I've been listening to this a little more, and it's fantastic. It's a lot different than Voivod, but um, still has kind of some touches of Voivod feel in there. Uh, and then Voivod did... Uh, Let's see. 
They did two DVDs. They DVOD one, and the uh, so this one has videos, uh, some live footage, um, and a lot of extra stuff. I don't know if you can read that. It has live from Montreal. I think a lot of it is stuff that has been put on those now. Um, but with a bit better uh, quality. There is one um, Montreal Music Plus that has really good video and sound. So that's worth getting for. Whoops. And then there is the... Tatsumaki Voivod Japan live in 2008. So this is with, um, let's see. Well, 2008 would have been once uh, Daniel Chewy shows up. Oh, by the way, on the guy who plays bass on here, his name is Rocky. Um, they all have those weird little nicknames um yeah i don't know what his actual name is daniel mongrain is chewy and their new bass player is rocky um so this is 2008 um i believe piggy passed away in 2005 but they do uh voivod the prow the unknown knows ravenous medicine overreaction tribal convictions tornado panorama uh, nuclear War, Nothing Face, Brain Scan, and Astronomy Domini. It is a great show, uh, great sound quality, good video, and I hope you actually like Voivod and liked this video.